Thank you for joining me today. I'm Fred Schaefer from the Indoor Football League. It is time for the IFL on Stadium Game of the Week head-to-head interview. This week's game features the Spokane Shock at the Duke City Gladiators. And with us today are head coach Billy Back of the Shock and Robert Kent, head coach of the Gladiators. Gentlemen, let's get right to it. Coach Back, the Shock are coming off of a win versus Tucson. Give me a breakdown, your impressions of that game. Uh, you know, I think uh, Coach Dixie came out with a great game plan offensively and defensively against us. Um, you know, he had a ch- couple check with me to the line of scrimmage. I thought that was pretty awesome, you know, seeing him work like that and uh, be successful doing it. You know, it, it took time off the clock. It took the ball out of our hands a few times. Uh, defensively, they did some things different than we thought they'd do on film. Uh, kind of confused us a little bit. Uh, but I think overall, you know, our, our talent level, our guys, just determination. I think we're a little bit more physical that game. Uh, came out and got the W. I mean, we had a couple big special teams plays once again. That kick returned late in the game. Uh, Devontae's pretty dynamic back there, returning kickoffs, and uh, we hit a crease and got one, which, uh, you know, came down to special teams. And it's funny, Devontae said that before the game, that special teams are going to win this game. And uh, sure as heck it did. So we were happy it was our special team. So, <laughs> But it was, it was a good game, good hard fall game. And, uh, you know, it, it was the outcome went our way. Coach Kent, you beat the Wranglers on the road last week, and now you're home against the Shock. Where do you find it easier, better to play? Do you like road games, home games? Uh, we try to make every road game a home game. Uh, and, and every home game, you know, like I said, we like being at home. You know, this this year we had not uh, our home record doesn't reflect how we feel playing at home, but you know, we're trying to change some things, but we always try to find a way to make uh, away games, home games. Uh, it's going to be a great game this week because we know the shock, uh, they're going to bring it. And if we had to go to Spokane, I know how it feels to play in Spokane. So uh, <laughs> that's, that's a good feeling. I like that. I like that atmosphere. Coach Back, you touched on it just a moment ago. Devontae Sapp Lynch, he had a, a quite a performance last week. How much of a, a, of a difference maker is he in a game? Uh, he's, he's a game changer. He's a game changer. He's, he was playing inspired last week. His parents were in town. Um, you know, the whole family was here from, from during the whole week. Got to meet them as well. Uh, great family, you know, energetic family. And, uh, you know, he just played inspired, you know, came out, had the right cuts, the right reads and the holes. O- O-line did a great job for him. Uh, but he's just, he just brings a positive attitude throughout the entire game. And he's just, he's just a ball of energy, hard to tackle. He's got more power than you'd think a, a five foot eight nine, five foot nine, whatever, whatever he is, five, seven running back brings. And uh, he's just, play, he's fun to watch. I mean, he really is. Just seeing him dance in the hole and then slow play defender and then just power him into the end zone. Uh, it's just, it's just a total package. Coach Kent, the Gladiators scored a season high 71 points last week. Is it uh, tough to keep that kind of mojo going into the next game? Uh, not at all. Honestly, we have a great group of guys. I mean, starting from the offensive line, uh, receivers, running back, quarterback. Uh, it's just making sure that we spread the ball out. You know, we have uh, Dello Davis right now is doing some spectacular things for us. But we also have uh, Zaria Amy and uh, Jared Elmore, who can also can be a 20-plus touchdown receiver. So what we're trying to do now is make sure we spread the ball around the field, make sure that everybody knows if you decide to cover somebody with two people, Somebody else is going to be, be open. And uh, last game was a great game for us running the ball. So that kind of showed that we're not just a one-dimensional passing team. We can also run the ball. So it's making sure that as a coach that we're doing our part in changing the, the, the concept of the game and not just being tailored to passing or tailored to running, but all three phases of the game with running, passing, and also throwing screens. Coach Bank, you had a couple of games at home. You're going to take your winning record on the road. Uh, how are you preparing your players for Saturday night on the road in Duke City? Well, we just finished our COVID test today, so that's that's <laughs> a change from everywhere else. Uh, everybody passed, uh, but uh, we're uh, you know I enjoy away games because it's you know it's it's relaxing a little bit. You know, you get time in your own hotel room to just stare at your play sheets. Um, you know, pop in a good movie, just something to take your mind off of things. Uh, and I ain't have to worry about getting this guy tickets and this person tickets and. You just show up and play, and uh, I, I enjoy road games. Um, the fact that you get to see what the other team's atmosphere is like, you know, their fan base, you know, just everything about the away adventure. Because every every city is different. Every city has different chemistry, or different attributes to to uh, you know show players, and so 
never been to Albuquerque, New Mexico. Looking forward to it. Um, but at the same time, you know, I know that uh, the Gladiators are going to be they're going to be out there offensively. They're they're attacking. Defensively, they've gotten better each week. Um, you know, with with the skies and their coverages and everything. So it's going to be a it's going to be a dogfight on the road. We're excited about it. Um, looking forward to playing a quality organization like the Duke City Gladiators. Coach Kent, you're going to be facing one of the best teams, the IFL, Saturday night. What's your message to the Duke City Gladiators? Uh, we're coming to play. You know, each week our motto is to go one and zero. We know the shock right now. They're sitting in uh, sitting in the top three, and they're, they're a great football team. You know, offensively they lost their quarterback, but the backup came in and has done a tremendous job. So. What we're doing every day is just preparing for the team we're playing. You know, film can only give you certain things. I, I tell my guys, the film shows you only so much. But when the ball, when the lights are on, the ball is spinning, it's time to go play ball, you have to be ready to play ball. You have to throw up, throw out what you saw on film, and now let's go focus on the player and let's go play some ball. So our biggest thing is just doing our job offensively, defensively, and special teams. And hopefully this Saturday, we get another home victory. They're going to be playing ball this Saturday night. It's the IFL on Stadium Game of the Week as the Gladiators host the Shock Saturday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central. To find Stadium where you are, go to watchstadium.com. And for the best coverage of the Indoor Football League, it's goifl.com.